Hello, I'm going to show you how to use GoGuardian on a Windows 10 PC. So open up your web browser, my choice is Google Chrome, and you're going to go to Clever. Now as a CCSD employee, you can just go to clever.ccsd.net and it'll take you to this page here. Um, since I'm using Google Chrome, I'm just going to go ahead and log me in with Google because that's what I'm already signed in as. It's going to automatically log me into Clever. Okay, I'm going to go to my portal. And I'm going to scroll down towards the bottom and I'm going to click on Go Guardian. Now it's going to open up into this for you as teachers. This is Go Guardian Teacher. Okay, from here you can go ahead and create your classrooms. Okay, you need to make sure you select in a classroom and, you, and if you've never used Go Guardian before, there'll be nothing here. What you're going to do is you're going to come over here and you're going to click Add Classroom. Okay, you're going to give it a name. I'm going to call this one Test. If, if there's a specific subject, you can give it a subject. I'll just select Other. You can give it a description. Test for video. Okay, um, and then you can give give it a color. My, I love green, so I'm going to make it green, and I'm going to click Add Classroom. Okay, what this is going to do is, it, is once you create this classroom, it's going to give you a couple different options of how to upload the suits. You can have your students enroll in your classroom a link. I wouldn't do this because you just want to be able to put them in right away. You can upload a, a CSV with students' email. So if you wanted to do all your class at once, you can upload it from here. Um, hopefully, by clicking this, it'll it'll give you um, a CSV file that you can actually input information into. I, what I like to do is I like to use add by emails okay and so we just click here what we'll do is we'll start adding the students names to here okay um, so in CCSD we use their first name a period or dot and then their student night their student their person's ID number and then at nv.ccsd.net okay and then we would add it now, obviously this is not a real account but what I'm gonna do is is I'm gonna go off real fast I'm gonna add a few students and then I'll be right back and we'll go from there. Uh, when you're done, um, you'll go ahead and go just click add student. Um, or if you have multiple students, you can click add another email. Okay? But when you're done, you'll just click add students and then I'll add all your students. So I'll show you what that looks like in just a minute. Okay. Now I have my three students here. Now you can't see their names because I've got them blocked, but my students are here. Okay? When you are ready to go, or if you, you can always come back to this page here. I'm going to show you how to get back to this page at the end. But when you're ready to go to your first session, you know, you, there's two things you can do. You can click on session here and you can start a session. Um, or you can come back out here to classrooms and here's our test right here. And we just click on it and if we need to add more students, we can click here and we can add more students. Here, you can designate how long you want the class to be. Okay. Now, now know this, that it'll automatically kick you out once that time is over. So if you're not quite sure, I would put a little more time than you think you're going to need. If you have a custom end time, you can just put that here and it'll allow you to say what time you actually want it to end. Okay. I was leaving mine at 45 seconds. Okay. When we're ready, we just click start session. What it's going to do is going to pull up all of your students right here in front of you. Now, if they were logged into a Chromebook, like this one is right here, um, it, it, it'll pop down, it'll show you what they're doing. Now, obviously, you can't see what they're doing because I've got it blocked out, but they are on right now. If they're not on, um, I don't know if Arian, I don't know if this student, do it again. If they're not on, this is what's going to come up right here, student offline, okay? Now, there's some fun things that we can do here with them. We can go ahead and we can um, open this up. We can just go ahead and click on their screen. It's going to open up this right here, okay? Now, obviously, we can't see what they're doing because I've got it blocked off. Okay, that's okay. I don't need to show you. What I want to show you is right down here. Okay, you can exclude students. So if you need to kick that kid out of this class and or if this kid's not doing what he's supposed to be, you can quickly kick him out. Okay, you can open a new tab for them. This is really cool. You click on this one and you put in a URL and you can push that tab, um, that link to their computer. You can lock their device, so and so if they're if they're not paying attention, they're just playing the computer. You can lock the device, or you can take a screenshot of what they're doing. Okay, over here it'll show you everything that they're working on, all of their little tabs that are open. They've got multiple tabs. You can see them uh, over here. If they're not open in front of you, you can see them all. Okay, you can also from here um, here are the screenshots that you've taken for your class, which we obviously haven't. 
Um, from here, what you could do is you could select all of your students, okay, that are online. It's only going to select those that are online. And what you can do is down here, you can either lock all of their devices, you can open a new tab for all of them, unlock a, unlock a device for all of them, or um, exclude from the session. You can kick them all out if you needed to, okay? when you, If you get done early, all you got to do is come over here and click End Session, End Session. And what this will do is it'll kind of give you an overview of everything that went on in your classroom and it'll also send you an email. I hope this video was helpful and we'll see you next time.